Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to remake old review of Thomas F1, which is a very old review of my channel. But before we begin, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification if you want to see more video. So before we begin, let's read a little bit information about uh, Thomas. FAMAS stand for uh, Fusil d'assaut de la Manufacture d'Armes de Saint-Étienne. Okay, so it's like, uh, in English, it's assault, assault, assault Rifle from Saint-Étienne Weapon Factory. Okay. So it was uh, designed by, designed in, from 1967 to 1971. And the designer was Paul Telly. Manufacturer was Giat Industry. Uh, it's enter, it entered service in 1978 until today, still an active service. It was bullpup design. Okay, and it was being replaced with uh, SK416F. Uh, by the French army, okay. And it was put on, uh, it was expected to remain in limited service until 2028, okay. So they, uh, until 2028, it, uh, farmers will be still in service, but in limited uh, quantity, I think. So let's begin with reloading as usual. Okay, let's remove this part here, and then this part, reloading. Reloading using your index finger to push on magazine catch, allowing the magazine to be pulled out like this. Okay, and the magazine in, like that, and everything is done. So that's reloading, so it's ambidextrous reloading, I think. Okay, and uh, let's see the firing in single single fire mode. Firing. So in single fire, we pull the trigger here. Like this. When you pull the trigger, as you can see here. The trigger bar is going to push on sear actuator here. And the sear actuator will push on the sear, which is holding the hammer in this position. Okay, like that. And the hammer will be released and hitting the firing pin, inspire. Okay, as you can see here. So, let's continue. Uh, the hammer was really sitting in the firing pin and then the lever delay blowback the lever delay blowback uh, being pushed back by the blowback of the, the gas against the bolt and the bolt carrier here but we move back like that and it's unlock as you can see okay so when the and the seal being disengaged from the hammer. The hammer hitting the firing pin. The bolt carrier pushed back on the hammer. Back into normal position. Okay. Like that. Okay, so as you can see why the sear going up, which it was being pushed by this sear spring here, to go up. So it's being pushed up like, like that, okay? By the sear uh, pin and sear spring. And then after that, the sear is being reset into position. 
انت يا hammer being push down into this position allowing the seer to to engage the hammer again and then the bolt and the bolt carrier back into position the uh, blow back a lever go back into locking position right there and the trigger is being released And trigger is being released. As you can see, uh, the hammer returned back into position, but it was being engaged by the sear, so it stayed in position. So that's single fire. Let's see it one more time. Right there. So that's single fire, very simple mechanism there. Now let's see the full auto first before we go into burst fire. So in full auto, the mechanism is like the 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 way it difference from single fire is the the deep uh like the trigger pull become more deeper because it's like more uh, the cutout on the safety plug is uh, deeper in this in the full auto compared to single fire in this position okay so as you can see there so now when you pull the trigger in uh, in full auto what happened is you basically uh, you pull the trigger but as you can see here, the sear was being pulled back so far by the sear actuator that it it cannot engage back the hammer. So it's so it's now the job of the full auto sear to automatically releasing the hammer to hitting the firing pin every time the bolt uh, lock back into position for the firing of the next round. So you just hold the trigger and kind of keep firing. So as you can see also here, the blowback lever here help with the uh, full auto sear mechanism, automatic sear mechanism here, because it's gonna be, when it's locked, it's gonna kick this rod here, automatic sear control rod over here, allowing the hammer to be released again. Okay, we have we have uh, some uh, problem here because I just press once, so uh, I need to press like holding it longer. So as you can see, okay, I'm gonna holding it longer, and then you can see. As you can see here, the the single fire sear over here is being pulled so so far forward that it cannot. Uh, engage the hammer anymore because if it even if it's being pushed up it cannot go for the sear actuator here so it's going to be stay in this position allowing the automatic sear to do it, its job uh, by by the help of the blowback lever here that keep kicking the automatic sear control rod and that's gonna align the automatic sear into straight position here and then it will release the hammer, so like that. As simple as that. So that's full auto mechanism. Now in burst fire. So before we begin with the burst fire, like this, okay. Okay, as you can see this, the burst selector lever here. This burst selector lever basically, uh, like when in this position the the rifle the famas is a, a full auto a full auto rifle like it's firing full auto but when you go to burst you're basically allowing this uh, uh wheels mechanism here to count around for uh, from one to three round fire before it stop the whole system so 
the, 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 the firing mechanism here before it, it, it will count the three round and then stop the the hammer from moving at all. So let's see burst fire. In burst fire, you basically do this. Okay, you see th there is a little bit uh, wrong animation here, but the point here is as you can see over from down here, when you put the burst selector in this position, you're basically allowing, now you're allowing this, this limited limiter here to, to be, to, to move. And then this actuator, actuating lever to move, to count the firing mechanism, to, to count the round fire, okay? So as, as you can see here, so basically these things, this limiter here can move now, and the, this uh, drive pole here, and then ratchet wheel, and the actuating lever catch, and everything actuating lever here, it's gonna move, everything here is gonna move, because it's now free. Because the burst selector lever is being pushed back, so it, it's not holding me, holding the this part here. Welcome back. So yeah, let's continue the explanation about the the counting wheel over here. So in like in full auto, as you can see, this thing cannot move at all because of this part here. This part over here holding it back from moving at all. Like that. Okay. Slow please. Okay, like that. So like that. Now in burst, uh, burst fire, it's supposed to be back here, but the the animation is wrong here. So, so because the animation is wrong, it's supposed to be like this. So you see, this actuating lever catch spring here. Not, uh, I mean the drive pole here. It's gonna, it's gonna push over like clipping through this, this part here burst uh, selector lever here so i'm gonna remove the burst selector lever so you can see so it's supposed to be moving freely now into this direction as you can see it's not because now there's enough space now it can use the ratchet wheel to count the firing okay as you can see there it's basically full auto but you, but now the counting mechanism is active, so it will count the round until three firing, and then it's gonna be stopped by this uh, limiter here here, because what happened when you after you fire three round, this limiter here will gonna go like this, and then this one here it's gonna go up to hold the hammer like that, so it's like it's perfect like that. Okay, I need to reload now. Okay, as you can see here. Until uh, at the third round fire, the limiters here go up holding the hammer, preventing it from moving. So you see. And it will stop when you re 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 release the when you release the wait what okay one more okay like 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 right here now this limiter here go up holding the hammer now the the block lever blowback lever hitting the automatic sear control rod allowing the automatic sear to uh, to go to to be in straight position but when in this straight position the hammer is supposed to be being released because it's like the mechanism is basically full auto but there's a counting system here that stop it at three round bursts 
So after that, the limiter shear is holding the hammer, so it cannot be released until you release the trigger. Okay, when you release the trigger, the shear, I get the shear back into position. So now the shear is holding the hammer now, and then the trigger gonna push on this pole and catch actual actuator here. Push it back like that. Okay, when you push it back, it's gonna reset the counting mechanism here, allowing the limiter shear to go down on this on this uh oh, to go down on this position and go up in this position. Okay. When it's counting, it's gonna go up over here. Okay. And after counting, it's gonna go down like that. So, so that's a burst fire mechanism. So basically, in FAMAS, it's like burst fire is like full auto, but there is a counting mechanism here that limit the firing to three round bursts. After that, the system stop the hammer from being dropped, like this limiter here, stopping the hammer from being dropped, so it cannot hit any firing pin. And then after that, uh, you release the trigger. The counting mechanism reset to zero, like uh, back to back to normal in uh, in in back into position and then after that you press the trigger again let's fire again so so let's counting again somewhere uh some people want to see if if there is only two 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 round left let's see okay let's see if it works in two rounds so one round, second round, oh, okay, if, if there is like only second round left, the whole, like this, what? What animation is, I don't know what happened here. Okay. Did, did the system just reset back to normal? What happened here? Okay, one round line. Let's see. Okay, right. One round line. See? What happened there? Oh, when you release the trigger. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, so... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah. So if there is only around less than three, then the bolt carrier will not go back and push down on the hammer. So basically, the, the system is like stop counting because... The system counting with the help of the ball carrier pushing on the hammer. So when the hammer is being pushed down, this hammer rod is gonna it's gonna help uh, push the counting mechanism. So if there's only two round left, then it's gonna stuck here. But then you release the trigger, it's, uh, and the trigger gonna hit uh, hit this or not hit uh, yeah gonna hit this uh, mechanism here basically. Uh, reset the counting mechanism back to zero again. So like that. So that's explained. Like if you have uh, one round left, you fire with the burst mechanism like this. Like the system supposed to be reset in, in back into position because when you release the trigger, the system uh, the the counting. It's gonna be reset to zero again because of this connecting rod hitting the hole and catch actuator, basically making the the counting back to zero again. Okay, so yeah, that's the, that explain. Like if you only have like one or two round left when you fire in burst, that's what's gonna happen. Okay, so I hope you understand that. Now this mechanism here, the bolt, uh, it's like what is the name? Let me check again. So it's uh, the name is uh, 
mechanism in the action. The action is lever delay blowback. So basically it's like similar to roller delay. So it's using the blowback of the of the gun when you fire. So there's no gas being fended back into the bolt. You just basically have this. You basically just have this uh have this recoil spring to absorb the bolt being pushed back. Okay. So as you can see. So there's no gas at all. It's using a blowback mechanism. Lever delay blowback mechanism. Uh, I think it's similar to like roller delay, but the difference is it's for G3 roller to delay, it's roller like a cylinder, while this one is like lever. And then, yeah, it's like, it's a uh, FAMAS is known for the firing rate. Bulb up firing rate is high for a FAMAS here. So you can see. And because there's no gas mechanism, the blowback is going to be uh, like on, like the, the, the blowback is going to be strong. So they have this like buffer here. Okay. So, and also, we don't have see a safety option here, but it's supposed to be there. When safety on, basically what happened here is, let me see it in slow motion, please. Okay. Basically for safety, this is safety position here. But the, the game doesn't have it, uh, like doesn't have the animation, but the animation for, for safety is basically this. The safety lever here facing toward the trigger making a uh, making the making you know that if it's in this position and it's blocking your finger then it cannot be like it's then it's then it's in safety position and also the safety lock here like basically touching the trigger here so it cannot move at all so you cannot fire it so it's that's safety mechanism for this Thomas, even though there's no option to, to to turn on safety, but there is safety in in FAMAS, Okay. So yeah, I guess uh, that's it for me. Uh, remake of the old review that long time coming. I supposed to make this like every day, but you know, I think I, I spend too much time on playing video games. Well, this is a gaming channel, so yeah, I'm sorry about that. I will try to make more video uh, review like this, remake and new one when there is new release. So yeah, if you like what you see, like and subscribe, turn on the notification, become a member if you want to support me directly. Okay, I will give me a tip on PayPal. There's a option below in the description. So yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone.